Why is it so hard to stay motivated with coding? It's very easy to start coding. It's very hard to stay motivated long term. As a programmer at a big tech company, I've struggled with this from time to time. Coding is hard. And at some point, your motivation to keep coding will slow down. This is normal. And it happens whether you're brand new to programming and you're learning to code, or you've been a software engineer for many years. I encountered this in March when my big tech company went remote and worked from home full time. With my motivation to work slipping, I knew I needed some better strategies to help me. I tried several different ways. Some worked and some didn't. I want to share with you the ones that were successful. Have you been struggling with motivation to code recently? Stay tuned, because in this video, we're going to cover five ways to stay motivated while programming. Welcome back to The Healthy Coder, where we cover tips and tricks to make you healthy as a programmer. Now, keeping motivation to code is something I've struggled with, either in college when I was first learning how to program, and after college in my career, where I've been a software developer. This is because programming in short bursts is just fun. You feel like you're learning a lot and your skills tend to grow fast. But over time, it could become tedious, and you may even get stuck on things where you don't know how to complete them. Both of these can cause you to procrastinate, to avoid coding, or just not want to do coding at all. It really is a terrible feeling. And once it starts, your motivation problems can become worse and worse. Because you can't get yourself to code, you feel bad, which makes you avoid programming, which makes you feel even worse and the cycle continues. Luckily, there's strategies you can use to get past this and back to coding and feeling great about it. With that being said, let's go into the tips. Tip number one, remember why you're working so hard. Think back to when you started working. What was your goal that you wanted to accomplish? You definitely had one. It was what caused you to start coding in the first place. Maybe it was to get a job and money in the future. Maybe it was to build some app for yourself or someone else's fun or business. What happens though is over time, you keep working, but you forget that goal. This is especially common in careers where you work at your job for a year or two and you get tired of working. It's also common recently where people have been working from home for our jobs, but we don't get to see the rewards as much as before. And this was the top thing that actually helped me get my motivation back while working from home. I took note of what I wanted, which was to get a promotion at the next SDE level. To do that though, I needed to get back to completing the amount of work that I used to do before March and coronavirus and everything hit. With that in mind, each week, I've been as productive, if not more, than I was before. So take a step back and write in a journal if you have one or go for a walk and think about it or write on just a piece of paper what you want out of coding. It'll help you remember why you started and get your motivation back. Tip number two, do a small amount of coding each day. This was the second most helpful tip that allowed me to get back to coding effectively recently. Think back to your college days when you would cram for a test right before it was held at least that's what I did until I got better habits. Instead of doing all the work in one day, if the study had been spaced out a little each day, it would have been so much easier and enjoyable. The same goes for coding. If you're feeling unmotivated, try doing just a little bit each day. It could even be, I will sit and concentrate for 10 minutes. There's a good chance with coding that once you start, you'll breeze past that 10 minutes into 30 or an hour. That's because you get into the zone with coding, but it just takes a little focus at the beginning to kickstart the process. This is one of the top tips in other fields like writing to get work done, and it definitely works for coding too. So if you use a habit tracker like I do, put 20 minutes of coding in as a habit, or make a note of it mentally that you'll do 20 minutes a day, and it'll reset you so that you can get back into programming. Tip number three, write out the features you wanna build and break them into subtasks. This is something that most people don't do, but it works so well. You probably have something big you're trying to make. If it's for fun, maybe it's a stock trader bot. If it's for work, your task may also be big. I want to build this API service to return the latest purchases of a user or something. When you look at the overall challenge, though, it may appear so big that it prevents you from getting started. 
or you may not know how to do it, and it stops you from even starting. Take the overall aim and break it down into smaller and smaller sub goals. So instead of, I want to build this API, start with a sub piece, like I want to retrieve this data from the database. That way you can be mentally motivated to getting the sub goals done because they're smaller and you can connect them to make the bigger goal. If you're a software engineer for your job, you may use Scrum like me and have sprints where tasks are broken down into smaller subtasks, but they're likely still too big and it helps to break them down from a developer implementation standpoint even more because it's likely each task will have subtasks. Tip number four, do some fun coding project. Now this is a great tip if you're having general motivation issues and you're not burned out. But if you are burned out, I would not recommend this tip. Coding more will not help you get less burned out. For burnout tips, check out the video on the screen, which gives you ways on how to recover from burnout. But assuming you're not burned out and you just need to find your general coding motivation again, this is a great way of doing so. There's a good chance you got into coding to make something in the first place. Like I started coding because I wanted to make an Instagram bot, and that made me get into computer science as a degree, and then later a job. There's nothing more fun than building something you want to build, and it will carry over into the things you don't want to build, like maybe some work feature, because you've got the momentum of coding again. So think of something you'd enjoy making, some tool, app, or website, and think of some framework you'd want to use. Maybe some you already know, or a new one that you haven't used before, but you've seen on Hacker News, like Rust or Golang. Tip number five, think about if there's a reason why you're avoiding coding. This seems like common sense, but oftentimes we avoid thinking of the why of a problem, and we just want a way to fix it. But in coding, the why of your loss of motivation may be because you're just trying to avoid the coding problem altogether. This happens in beginners a lot when they get frustrated in learning, and in general developers at work when something just isn't going right and it's easier to avoid the problem. For example, maybe the feature wasn't spec'd out right, and you just don't want to get into the weeds of even thinking how to implement it. Or maybe it requires some other team's work and collaborating with them is a pain. It's good to take a step back and think about why you may be feeling that loss of motivation, because there's a possibility it's because of something you don't want to confront. And knowing that will help you get your energy to code back, because you know the reason why. Losing your motivation to code is not fun, but these five tips will give you ways to get it back. And with coronavirus and work from home, it's more important than ever to get your energy and motivation back if it's gone. I hope these strategies will help you in your coding journey. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. And if you have a favorite strategy, please comment below. We'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like. And if you want to learn more tips to becoming a healthier programmer, subscribe to the channel. Thanks and see you all in the next video.